Okay, welcome to another video. In the previous video, we have seen that how we can uh, use some of the useful commands. And uh, in this video, we're going to show you that how you can actually use the dot vim rc file. Okay, so uh, the vim rc file is basically it is a configuration file. Okay, so the configuration means that basically you can have different default settings for your vim editor okay so for example right now uh, we are currently in the code and if you remember that previously what we have done that we have set numbers okay so if i hit enter you can see that the numbers have been assigned to each line okay so right now even if i save it and if i quit i can come out of it and later you can see that even if i go inside of it i i won't see those numbers here okay so that can be really a painful thing that each time uh you want to do your settings and you have to do them all over again each time you open your vim rc okay so there are other settings like if you really like to highlight the syntax then in that case uh you would be using the command syntax on and if you really don't like to have shift tabs if you want to use smart tabs you know settings like these um if you want to have them you have to do them all over again each time you get into the file but thanks to the vim rc file which let you uh do this configuration once you save that file and then you you do not have to do it again okay so all those con uh, configurations are already there when you open the vim rc fi vim file excuse me okay any file in the vim editor all right so now uh, let's go ahead and let's do it there is a misconception uh, a lot of people say that vim rc files uh, you know they come pre created but i don't think so in my experience you have to create uh, the vim rc file okay so let's just get out of here and let's go back to the home directory all right so now we are in the home directory so if i ls here you can see that we have just vim info dot vim info we don't have any uh vim rc file right now let me just uh, let me just be more specific let me just do this grep dot uh vim so if i hit enter you can see that there is only one file vim info okay so uh, what we got to do is that we are going to create a vim rc file okay so we're going to write here vim rc so we hit enter and now our vim rc file has been created okay so now what i can do i can write here syntax on uh, excuse me syntax on and um, yeah i can add other commands as well so let's say uh, let me just save it first so let's say i go back into the command mode and i save it and i quit so now after that now we are in the home folder home directory okay so now if we want to access this file right here new code which is on the desktop so for that what you've got to do is that you have to give here the complete path all right so now we write here new code.py if we open it now you can see that here we have this file and syntax is on okay so now uh, if we go back again let me just go back here uh, and if i you know open the vim rc file so first of all let's do that how many uh, vim files now we have okay so let me check that so if we do that we hit enter and you can see that we have vim rc file in our home directory as well all right so now what we are going to do is that we are going to write here uh dot vim rc uh it would get it would get us inside this vim file vim rc file and now let's try to make some uh changes all right so now let's set numbers okay so this is another setting that we want it by default so we hit uh, you know we save it basically let, let, let us just get out of this edit mode and let's get into the command mode by pressing escape and now let's just save it and quit it all right so now uh, let's go back to the uh, desktop 
and let's get into the file so now if we open it you can see here now we have numbers okay so no matter how many times we basically quit it no matter how many times we uh, come inside this new code file we'd always have numbers all right so you can see here so that is now a configuration so you don't have to do it over and over again so this command set number you don't have to write it every time you come into the vim editor so your configuration file which is essentially dot vim rc it would take care of it all right so now let's just add one more command uh, and uh, we'd go into the uh, vim rc file again all right so we open it up and now let's just you know add another command let's say i find really handy uh, to use um, j and h and k and n these uh, buttons instead of the arrow buttons all right so what i can do is that i can um, make these uh, buttons the arrow buttons do nothing so in configuration file what i can do is that i can actually make these arrow buttons ineffective right now you can see that if i press my arrow buttons right now i'm pressing my arrow buttons and i'm able to move you know up and down and left and right so what i can do i can actually map those keys so i'll write here map down and um, i can write here nothing happens okay so after that i do the same thing for um you know map up and uh, nop actually what i can do i can actually copy it yy and then i can paste it all right by pressing p uh, we have done that in the previous video so now i can go into the edit mode uh, and i can actually edit it basically uh, left and obviously if i need to uh, copy it one more time edit it let's go here and let's just make it right so now basically what these four lines would do is that basically they would quit uh, basically basically they would make those arrow buttons ineffective so no matter uh, so whenever i would be uh, going inside the uh, you know the dot dot vim file or the vim editor uh, it won't let me use these arrow buttons no matter how many times i uh, press these buttons okay so now let's uh, get into the code uh, which is essentially on the desktop so we go here uh, the new code file we hit enter and uh, we get in so now you can see that i'm pressing the arrow buttons but nothing is happening okay so if i press j button uh, and if i press k uh, and if i press n you can see that i am moving up and down using uh, those buttons okay so now i would go back to the vim rc file so i hit enter and you can see that these are the three uh, configurations that i have done okay so that's how you you know configure this vimrc file and basically that's how you configure your vim editor so we can make here you know plenty of configuration plenty of settings tens and tens of settings so uh, we can write here you know ruler we can write here the uh, smart editor the smart tab you know different couple of settings so the point is that basically vimrc is the configuration file and you can uh you know do all the settings inside this file okay so i hope you have got the point you have learned something new um for written articles you can visit our website linuxn.com and i will see you in the next